Hello friends, so today we can discuss another problem from the backtracking series I've been working on. That's a very standard problem. I don't know, like I thought not to make this problem, but uh, when I searched on YouTube, there are not quite good tutorials on how to find out permutations. Like, like you are given the distant integers and you have to return all possible permutations. There are uh, like videos on string, but not on this. And also I'm using masks or bits along with like deep or uh, sorry recursion or backtracking to solve this problem so that you will get the clear and it is also asked in a lot of interviews so you can like like know how to write a simple but yet standard problem so that's why i'm making this problem uh, the, it has a lot of likes i also increase this by one <laughs> but uh, i think that if you solve or if you know this problem it will be a very good tool for you to understand masks and also backtracking it as well. So I'll explain the problem. It's a very simple problem. The problem name is permutation in which you're given a collection of distant integers and you have to return all possible permutation. Instead of this, you can also, what you can do, you can use the next permutation or inbuilt permutation in C++ and you can also solve this problem using that. But in this problem, I'll tell you how to approach this problem. So first, what is a permutation? Uh, see, as you can see in this problem, you are given 1, 2, 3. And then permutation means that if you shuffle these numbers, what are the possible series you can get? As you can see, 1, 2, 3 is a series. If I somehow shuffle these numbers, shuffle means that if I put, if I put 1, 3, 2, this is a valid permutation of this series. Now, if I put like, if I shuffle 3 with 1, then this is a valid valid permission. Now, what are the all the possible valid permission? So now the answer is n square or n factorial because for every position you have the choices to put like the fourth for the first position you can you have n choices to put the number for the next you have n minus one choices for the next is n minus two and so the answer is n factorial and that's a simple logic to understand this problem. Now how to do this problem? See. What you can easily did in this problem or like you can do, you can make a mask. What I mean by mask is you can represent every number, not every number, but the position of every number by a bit. So because, uh, because it's n factorial, it cannot be a very large now question because if you want to print out all the fact, fact, like numbers of like permutations, then it is definitely the runtime is n factorial and it cannot be very large. So if you're assuming that it's not very large, uh, let's around 10, 15 or it's 10 is also like 15, 20 is also quite large, but let's assume it's a upper bound for this. So then it can be solved using bits in which what I'll do, I will represent the position of every number with a bit. And then what I'll do, I have these possible bits now because see for the first position, what are the numbers I can put? If some bit is on, as you can see, all the bits are on, I can take any of the numbers, put it in the first position and then off it bit. Off it bit means that I cannot use this number again. So let's assume that I choose the second number. I put this two, then I off this bit. Then this is the next state or next uh, mask you can say. So then what we'll do, we will take this new mask, which is 101 and find out, okay, now for the second position, what is the number I can choose? I can choose between three and one. So I can, let's assume I can choose this. So make this mask equal to zero and put it like this. Now, what is the next number I can choose? I can choose this number and put this and then mask becomes zero. So when the mask becomes zero, this actually depicts a mask. Mask, like mask is generally used in bit masking with DB in which we have to define some state using this mask. But in this, I've also used this mask, which actually helped me to keep track of all the numbers which I've actually used earlier such that whenever I use some number, I can switch that bit in the mask such that in the next state, I will remember that, okay, I have used this number. I should not use it, use this again. If I do the same thing again, using an array, if I use an array to store out which number is used and which are not, then we have to do an O of N operation. Then that can also be like used to check that whether some number is used or not, whether some number is actually uh, like if uh, this number is used in the area or not that can also be done but mask is simple because in this i have to send a whole array in every state but in a mask it's just a number because a number is defined by this number so it's very small 
then that's why you can also use uh, some array also that's also fine but this mask is like easy uh, if the permutation is very large let's assume that you have 50 numbers to permute though it is cannot be done but if you have uh, like if you have very fast speed then you can use an array because a, a mask cannot store 50 bits i hope you get the point and thus that's the simple uh, thing so that's how you will define a state take the mask switch the bits which bit is used, which bit is not used. And in the end, if the mask becomes zero, then I have the particular state of all the permutation. And then I will store them in some global variable or some global vector. I'll tell you with the code part. So I hope you get the gist of how we are doing this. I also draw the case. Uh, so that's the code. That's the global array answer. And that's a current vector I'm using uh, to store the, actually the current state. This is the starter function. Uh, this is the length this is the mask so i have mask means that i have made a uh, actually a number in which all the bits are one which for in which every bit is defining the particular corresponding number so for the zeroth number the zeroth bit define the zeroth position of the number first number first bit and so on then this okay function is used to store all the possible permutation in this vector and then our answer is just this now how this function is working, how this uh, function is recursively calling itself. So for every recursive function I have told you a hundred times, you have to first write down the base condition and then the recursive part. So what's the base condition? I've already told you when the mass becomes zero and also it can happen that the mass becomes zero and the array might not be having some number. You also have to take care of that. So if the array, which is storing the current state, if it has some number, which means that it has some permutation stored in it, then its size is obviously greater than zero. And if the size of this permutation is greater than zero and mask is zero, then it means that, okay, I've reached the end. My mask has become zero. I have taken all the numbers and now I've taken all the numbers and they are stored in the current state, the vector this, so I can store this current vector in the answer. And that's what we are doing. And then just return out the expression. Or else what I, what I can do, I iterate over from left to right from zero to all the end positions. And I will check that whether this ith bit is set if this i bit is set, what it means is that I have not taken this number. So now I have to take this number and then recursively call this function again with a new mask, which means that I have taken this number, turn this bit off. And then after turning this bit on, like off, sorry, take this number and send the new mask with the whole array again. So that I can take the next number and next number and so on. So I am iterating from left to right, or actually from zero bit to nth bit, check that whether in this mask, this bit is set then it means that if this bit is set i have not taken this number so if this is bit set i will make this number push back this number in the array in the current state then the new mask is i will do a zor of the current mask with the ith or actually the jth whatever you can call it. the because i've taken this so i have to flip that bit from zero till one or yeah from one till zero because i've taken the bit that number so from one it should become zero so i'm actually flipping that bit so do a zor of this mask with this and now send or recursively call this OK function again uh, with this mask. Else uh, you have two options. You can take this because if I have taken this, I have taken this number and then I recursively call this. And then like because I have taken this number, I have two options. Uh, I can take this number or else I don't take this. So what I have done here is because I'm building this whole vector, I can first push this number in the vector in the current state recursively call my function again and then pop out this number again so what did this help there are two ways to do recursive functions backtracking may uh, like questions you can do you have two options always you can either take this number or not take this number if you take this number you can send a new state or else what you can do you can push back the number first number recursively call this function again and then after recursively calling this function again you can pop out the last number which you have added so because what does this help that I've created a new state by pushing a new number in this array and then calling the function at that point only. when this function has computed all the particular particular values with like following this state, then I have pop up the last element such that my previous state has achieved. So I can do some other work. And these are the two possible ways to do recursive uh, problems or the backtracking problem. I've made videos on both of them. You can check out this playlist in which this video is already in. So that's how this problem is solved. And then after this, when my mass becomes zero, because I am taking elements, my mass becomes zero at some point, and then I will push back the current state in this vector of answers. 
and that's the whole logic for this problem if you still have any doubts mention down if you have more recommendation problems or any doubts you can contact me on my telegram channel if you like this explanation so you can like comment down or like this video and you can also like this problem on lead code so i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye